If you're not quite sure about how vulnerable the industry that you currently work in is, here's a, this, this is my gift of IP for the morning. Um, cast you back only to 1979 this time. Some of you will be maybe capable of doing that. Um, Michael Porter, this seminal piece of work, uh, his five forces model. Now I check on a regular basis, this is still taught in MBA school. It's still robust. Um, it stood the test of time. He breaks these down into, uh, if you want to look at what are the things that determine the relative power of buyers and sellers in any given market, seller, buyers of course being customers, it's these things. So let's, you know, 1979 manufacturing would have been, you know, one of the default industries that you think about. And typically you think economies of scale, yeah, you know, big ticket machinery and premises and everything that goes with that capital requirements, yep, they're big, and so you've got natural barriers to entry in a whole range of industries. Um, similarly with banks, you know, you've got to have a big capital base before you can even think about being a bank. Um, down here, this is really interesting one, the level of buyer information. So bottom right there, buyer has full information. Well, again, cast your mind back to 1979 and think about well, I'm thinking of opening a bank account or taking out an insurance policy. I mean, literally, you would have to physically walk around from branch to branch to branch, pick up all this paperware, take it home, jot it down in a spreadsheet if you were so inclined, blah, 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 you sort of get the point. Um, there was no notion of the buyer having full information at all unless you were incredibly diligent and had a lot of time on your hands. And so it goes on. So the thing that has, of course, changed since Porter created this is the rise of digital technology in all its incarnations. And I would suggest this will vary a little bit between industries, but now it's blown apart the economics of an awful lot of those things. So not just in sort of the obvious industries that we've seen as that I've referred to around music and so on, but an awful lot of others. Um, and as I said at the outset, the whole notion of the power going to the consumer is arguably the most profound change in all of these.